Good day to everyone. Today, I and my team members are going to present about our final year project and the title is PO Mental Health Guidance Hub. Our, our project supervisor is Wan Nuriza Binti Mamo and my name is Vikneshwari Dr. Selva and my metric number is 01DDT20F1074. My name is Aigleshni Dr. of Manimaran and my metric card number is 01DDT20F1067. My name is Yugendran Kannan. My matrix number is 01DDT20F1080. Okay, first of all, let's take a look on the table of con contents. There are eight titles, which is product description, problem statement, objective, scope, methodology, benefits, and market potential, and conclusion. Firstly, I will explain about the introduction. Here's everything you need to know about the product. Okay, now let's take a look on the introduction. The development of the project is to make the decision to create a web-based application for our Polytechnic Uncoma students to streamline the issues. All the students may speak with their guiders here. The students can also book their upcoming sessions with their guiders in this very website. Secondly, I will explain about the problem statement. What made us to create this website? Why do the students need our help? First reason is overstress. Lack of understanding and a lack of time may lead to mental stress when studying online. And the second reason is tight schedule. Due to hectic class schedules, it can be difficult to meet with counselors or guiders in person. Okay, thirdly, I will explain about the objective. What are we are trying to achieve in this project? There are three main objectives for our project, which is to create an alternative method that can save time, cost and paperwork. And the second one is to develop a web-based application that students can access with their metric card number. And the third objective is to develop a student consultation session for the web-based application. I'm going to explain the uh, fourth element of our final year project, which is scope. Here's everything you need to know about the product. There is two scope in our project, which is user scope and system scope. User scopes are students may easily access it by simply browsing our website in their smart device. The second user scope is they may find it easier to use the site since it will make it simpler for them to complete the, their task. Second one is system scope. The first system scope are the website will be simple for students and guiders to access because the technology is user friendly. And the second system scope is the system will preserve the student information, making it simpler for the guiders to access such information. The fifth element of our final year project is methodology. The method we use for our final year project is AD methodology, which is analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate PU Mental Guidance Hub has decided to apply the methodology method, which is widely known as AD method. The team can proceed with the steps one by one without any hassle. AD is an acronym for the five stages of the development process. Analyst, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. The AD model relies on each stage being done in the given order, but with the focus on reflection and iteration. The model gives you the streamline focus approach that provides feedback for continuous improvement. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the benefits of the website. So how can our website help you? So first thing is it will assist students in sharing their academic concerns so that the guiders may provide the best advice for them. Second is it won't be a huge concern for the pe pupils to express their worries in this website since it's a very private uh, website that you can only share with the admin and not others. And third is the creation of web-based application for online mental health guidance will make it easier for students to speak with a guider. Second is market potential. This is where we are going to talk about who are we targeting. So first is our main motivation for pursuing this project is Polytechnic Uncoma. So we are targeting to sell this project to Polytechnic Uncoma. And the second one is companies that require a live chat system, which is client to client and client to admin system. And third is companies that are providing counseling, mental health care, and mental guiding services. And lastly, any company that requires a booking system for independent date reservation by their respective clients. And eight, uh, lastly, the conclusion. So here's our final message with this project. 
through the website, students may express their worries to a counselor so they can receive a guidance from the knowledgeable guiders at Poly Polytechnic Ukoma and determine how to tackle their problems and discover answers. Okay, now I will explain about the interface. Okay, this is the home page for our website. Uh, if uh, these are the navigation buttons, if you click home, this is the home page. And if you click the about, it will bring you to the about us page. Uh, if you click the facilitators, here will be the facilitator pictures. And if you click the pictures, there will be the information about the facilitators. And then here I've uh, login for student and admin. If you click student, uh, here will be the interface for student login. And if the student are not yet a uh, member, they can register an, a new account uh, just by clicking the sign up button. So it will bring you to the registration page. Okay, and for admin login, uh, we already make a fixed password and fixed username for admin login. So that's all. Hello, I'm going to explain about the admin page. This is the home page of our admins. So you can see the navigation bar uh, in the page. If you click the About Us link, it will bring you to the About Us page. Uh, if you click the details, there will be two details, which is student details and appointment details. So if you click the student details, here you can see the student details of our um, PO Mental Health Guidance Hub. So if you click the print button, it will print out the student information. Then here we have insert a uh, view, view button, update button, and delete data of our students. So the admin can view, update, and delete the data. So next, uh, appointment details. It's same as the student details. The appointment details will be displayed in the appointment details page. If you click the print button, it will print out the appointment details of the students. Then here we have insert the uh, view button and delete button. Uh, here we have inserted the view button and delete button for the uh, appointment booking details. Next, I'm going to uh, explain about the uh, upload motivator, motiv upload motivational talks and codes. If the admin click upload uh, motivational talks, it will bring you to the upload motivational talks page. Here you can click the choose file image. And if you click the image that need to upload, upload video, it will upload in the students page. So the students can view the motivational talks. This is the page for upload motivational codes. If the admin choose a uh, file for codes, okay. then upload code. Yeah. Codes, codes. Uh, so the motivational codes will display in the students page so that uh, the students can view the uh, motivational codes. This is the logout page for our uh, admin. So if the admin click the logout button, it will pop up a message, show on a logout from Pew Mental Health Guidance application. If the admin click OK, it will bring you to the home page of our uh, Pew Mental Health Guidance. This is the uh, home page for our student page. Uh, there will be a Navigation bar in our student page, which is about us, appointment, messages, motivational, and logout. If you click about us, it will bring you to the about us of our PO mental health guidance. Next, appointment. If you click appointment navigation bar, it will bring you to the appointment page. So this is the uh, appointment part of our PO mental health guidance. Uh, the, the student need to click the date they want to book the appointment. For example, if they click 31 uh, August, so it will bring you to the uh, Next page where we, where the students can uh, select the time time of the appointment. So if you click the time, it will, it will bring you to the form for uh, booking appointment. You need to fill up the full name, metric number, and short note of our of your problem. You 
click submit, there will be a pop-up message. If you click OK, uh, there will be a message booking successful. So the uh, information about the appointment details will be uh, stored in the database. Next, about the motivational talks and quotes. If you click the motivational talks page, it will bring you to the page where we can see the motivational talks. Then next is motivational quotes. If you click the button motivational quotes, it will bring you to the motivational quotes page. And the lastly, uh, logout page. So if the student click the logout page, and there will be a pop-up message and it will bring you to the home page. That's all from me. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you about the live chat session which we have created in our website. So at the top of the navigation bar, when you can uh, see the messages button, you just have to click it and it will redirect you to the new login page of our live chat session. We created a separate live chat session because we uh, want to uh, protect as much information of the students as possible. So this is uh, as a extra privacy reasons. So now we are uh, intimidating as two different characters with two, uh, two browsers. So in one browser, we are going to log in with uh, a student account. So when you click on login, it will uh, log into the student's account. And on the other side, we are going to log into the admin site. So we are both logged in. So in Vigneshwari's account, we are going to send, hello, I'm Vigneshwari to our admin. So when you click send button, you can see on the left, uh, we have uh, sent a message. And on the right, we have received the message from Vigneshwari. So as admin, we are going to reply as, yes, good morning. Okay, we are sending them. We have received your message. And we are going to click the send button. Okay, now we are going to send the send button. And as you can see, Vigneshwari have already received the message. So this is how the live session works, live chat session works. So this live, ses live chat session is because uh, students will be able to talk to the admin, which are the guiders. The, uh, the students can also chat with other students. Uh, we have created this uh, live chat session independently. So students can chat with whoever they want. As you can see, Vigneshwari has also chatted with Ayila Shri. So we have uh pretty independent uh, uh it's a pretty independent place here in live chat session so you can chat with client to client and client to admin as we mentioned before so how all this works as a as one thing uh we have created the database and vigneshwari will explain to you about that thank you okay now i will explain okay now i will explain about the database connection uh, first of all, our database name is DB Connection, and under the DB Connection, we have created uh, several tables, which is admin login, booking, chat, and chat users, and conversation, quotes, and users, and videos. As an example, for admin login, we already fixed the username and password for it, and the booking details will be stored in this database, where the, the node, time slot, metric, everything. And the chat information will be stored under the chat table. And the, and the one we log in in the chat details will be displayed in, the, in this database. And the conversation between the admin and the student will be stored in the conversation table. And the code that admin upload will be displayed in, the, in this database. And the users who, uh, who are logging, their details will be stored in the user table. Once the, okay, for the video table, once the admin upload the video, the video details will be stored in this database. So this is the database connection for our website. So we are going to finish our presentation with a very inspirational quote. Mental health is not a destination, but a process. It's about how you drive, not where you're going. And thank you so much for listening to our presentation.